Hello everyone. Today we are going to go ahead and discuss IIT Jam 2023 Economics Syllabus. But before we go ahead, I am very proud to announce that our students who are from non-economics background have been able to secure rank in top 10, many students in top 10 and many students in top 20 in IIT JAM Economics 2022 paper. One good thing that happened is that these students had never ever read a single topic related to economics. All their preparation was within seven to eight months and they have been admitted. They have, you know, got their ranks in top 10 and top 20, not only in IIT, but also they have been able to crack gate exam. So, you know, you do not have to have a bachelor's in economics. You do not have to be from Delhi University. You can be from any university. You can be from any course and you can still go ahead and clear this prestigious exam. Okay, now let's go ahead and see the syllabus. First subject that is asked majorly is microeconomics. Now, microeconomics can be divided in six main parts. The first is consumer theory. In consumer theory, you would be doing topics like what is an indifference curve? What are preferences? What is utility? You'll be doing topics like what is budget constrained? What is choice? What is demand? Then we will be taking it ahead and understanding what is Slutsky equation. We will be talking about this in detail. We would be doing something which is known as revealed preferences. And a very, very important question asked every year, which is related to risk. Expect one to two questions coming on risk. That is what we would be doing. Second, we would be going ahead and doing topic on theory of production and cost. In production and cost, we would be doing what are production functions. We would be doing something which is known as isocons. We would be doing something which is known as returns to scale. We'll be talking about economies of scale. We will be looking at the production theory in the short run and comparing it with the production theory in the long run. Then we would be talking about different cost curves. What is AVC? What is AFC? What is ATC? What is TC, VC, total variable cost, total fixed cost? What is total um, cost? We'll be talking about the relationship between these cost functions. The third topic that we would be covering would be general equilibrium and welfare. Now, this general equilibrium and welfare can only be done after you understand the consumer theory very well, because I would be introducing something which is known as a two cross two cross two model. So I will be talking about two consumers together. I will be talking about two producers together, two products together, right? I will be talking about two inputs together. So, you know, you have to try and understand the consumer theory very well. So now here I will be going ahead and talking about something which is often asked and came this time also, which is known as the Edgeworth box. It comes every year. And then we'll be talking about what is a pure exchange scenario then we will be talking about uh, the different two important welfare theorems. And, you know, we will be looking at the cases when the welfare theorems are not satisfied and what happens under those situations. 
the fourth topic that I would be taking would be market structure. Here we would be talking about perfect competition. Then we would be talking about monopoly. Definitely one question on perfect will be coming. One on monopoly you will get. Then we will be here. You will get a question basically on market power. Okay. You will uh, you will be asked to find the relationship between the market power index and elasticity. Fixed questions. Then you will be asked question on price discrimination. So you would be asked question on the first, second and third price discrimination under monopoly. And very, very important, you would be asked on oligopoly. So one of the two marker question would be either on Stackelberg model or it would be on Bertrand or it would be um, on not but here you know one thing that i would like to highlight i i actually uh, you know highlighted it in the in my last uh, paper analysis also that in the core not model actually this is very uh, what do i say this is this is not going to come in the simple way where they're going to give you a simple marginal cost so they will be talking about differentiating firms with different, different marginal costs. This is what is going to come, right? So then we will be, this is also linked by the way to game theory. So although game theory is topic number five, but I will do a reverse analysis. I'll do perfect competition. I'll do monopoly. I'll follow this by monopolistic competition. Then we will do game theory and then we will do oligopoly, right? So in game theory, you will do um, Nash equilibrium. You will do sequential game. You will do simultaneous game. You will understand what is a first mover advantage. When do you have a second mover advantage? We'll talk about all that. What is a prisoner's dilemma? And finally, in microeconomics, you're going to go ahead and talk about the public goods. So here you would be talking about externalities. You will talk about uh, asymmetric information. Actually, I'll do a numerical on asymmetric information. Very, very important. So then you will talk about the two asymmetric information problems, which is adverse selection and moral hazard. We'll also do one numerical on externalities it usually is asked in exam so this is how the microeconomics would be distributed the entire microeconomics process if you go ahead and look into your portal will have three level the first level will be called introductory microeconomics here you will have 10 mainly 10 chapters plus quiz related to each chapter plus workbook of each chapter. That will be your introductory micro. Followed by introductory micro, you will see intermediate micro. So in intermediate micro, you will see 36 chapters. Very, very important. Now, if you do this introductory and intermediate well, it is enough to clear the exam, by the way. But then, we have our advanced lectures. This is what we do in our live sessions. And this will help you grasp difficult numericals so that you don't panic in the exam. Related to my entire microeconomics curriculum, we'll discuss the topics and we'll do the numericals, right? So this is how the entire microeconomics is divided. Every week, you'll be given weekly assignment on microeconomics. Plus bi-weekly, we'll keep a mock test. Plus you will be given enough workbooks to practice. Okay, fine. 
So this is all about how microeconomic syllabus is divided for the entrance exam of IIT Jam 2023.